Okay, take a look at this. I went to the, the library that's nearby uh, the Playhouse Square here in Cleveland, downtown Cleveland, and this is the Cleveland Library. The birthplace of Superman, look at this awesome looking statue. Now this desk here says Jerry Siegel's writing desk. He purchased his writing desk for his new home in the University Heights of Ohio in 1940. So who knows, maybe this is where he penned the idea of Superman. But that statue's cool. Now as you look here, they have all the Superman mem memorabilia. We are proud to present Superman. All right, we're gonna go down here to the very first window, show you guys what they have. I'll take a look at that. The lineage and legacy of Superman. Got a Superman dog. Some pajamas. I think I had some pajamas like that. <laughs> That's awesome. I grew up in the Christopher Reeves Superman. Here's Bizarro. Superman flag. Comet superhero horse. There's a female version of Superman pajamas. Looks like a board game for Superman. 1952 board game. That was probably like a 30th anniversary edition because it has 30 on his chest. Some old classic toys. There's one from Superman Returns with Brandon Roth. $6.97 when that was brand new. Here's some more Brandon Roth figures for Superman Returns. Supergirl. Some of the figures for that. Wonder Woman. There's Superman Lois Lane. There's a Christopher Reeve Superman. Superman 2 game. This is a board game. And those are the figures that you would use in a board game. There's Lex Luthor. Mad Magazine. Oh, look at that. That's a mad, the mad character. And he's dressed up as Superman in an action figure. There's an awesome image of Christopher Reeves as Superman. Uh, that's where they had the release of the stamp, Action Comics, Superman stamp, and then there's a coin. There's a really cool picture of Christopher Reeves dressed up in his Superman costume. TV guide, some VHS tapes, and here's a Superman telephone. This looks like an H or an 8-track tape, some pencils. Superman in Exile. Oh, there's a Superman 3 in summer of 1983 with Richard Pryor when he was in that film. Superman 1 and 2 were regarded as the best ones and they said with well, number 3 it started to kind of tail off a little bit. But Here's some more uh, some that promote reading. Go above and beyond. Read. There's the very first action comics where they introduced Superman in the comic books. George Reeves' life mask right there. A cast from the actor George Reeves it says this life mask was created by artist Eric Erickson. And then there's a movie poster of the very first film adaptation of Superman. Here's the big mural again. The lineage and legacy of Superman. A job for Superman. Take a look at that. I love seeing some of this old memorabilia like this. It's now historic because, well, Superman is the most popular superhero of all time. 
Here's an alarm clock. There's some watches, grandfather watch, huge clock. This is a job for Superman and some more clocks. Superman's Cleveland, explore the history and community behind the world's first superhero. Here's one, Henry Cavill, promoting to read, because we are in the library. Here's some more, this is, says Giant Superman Annual. Yeah, it's Old Man Superman. It's got a beard on him. <laughs> Different kinds of Superman, the Lion Steel, Goofy Superman, Future Superman, Masked Superman, Ugly Superman, and the Captive Superman. So this is Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, so <coughs> these must have been some of the comic books that they released highlighting Lois Lane. All right, there's Action Comics number 26. Oh, there's an iconic one. Superman versus Muhammad Ali. Right there. Here's some more artifacts and old lunch boxes of Superman. This one's really cool because that one looks like Christopher Reeve. But I remember when I was in elementary school, kids having these lunch boxes. There's an Action Comics trash can. All right, and then we got one more window over here. <clears throat> and these are the creators of Superman, Siegel and Schuster. Joseph Schuster signed and limited run Siegel and Schuster. So these are some of the signatures of the creator of Superman. And then there they are as they were older. Here's a fun bit of information dealing with the creators of Superman. They sold the rights to Superman for $125 to DC Comics. <clears throat> and then DC Comics made millions upon millions, <coughs> if not billions of dollars. But DC Comics ended up making right and ended up um, securing a deal with these guys got like, I think it was like $20,000 a year for the rest of their lives, which back in that day was a lot of money. There's a high school yearbook and it shows pictures of Siegel and Schuster and that. And then there's some of the other comics that these fellas created that didn't become as popular as Superman. There's a signature. Best regards from Spider-Man or from Superman, Jerry Siegel. His autograph is at the bottom of that. Okay, this is the uh, Superman exhibit at the Cleveland Library here.